Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by for this video. Today I am going to be sharing with you all of the items and decor that I am going to be bringing with me for our baby Annabelle's sprinkle shower. My sister decided to throw me this. I was a little unsure on whether or not I wanted one, but she kind of convinced me along with some of my really close friends and so once I agreed, I was all in. And I wanted to make this as special as possible, but I also wasn't looking to spend a ton of money, and I, of course, did not want my sister or my family members to spend too much money either. So I tried to keep the costs as low as possible just by reusing decor that we have around the house, as well as finding alternatives to different things that I could reuse in the future. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this video. I also have a couple other videos that will tie in to the sprinkle shower. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this one. But I also hope that you guys will enjoy the remaining sprinkle shower, baby shower type videos that I have. Also, my sister and I wanted to try and make as many of the items as we could, like little DIY projects. Not only is it fun for us to kind of spend time together and work on things like this together, but it's also a little bit more cost effective. It's definitely a lot more personalized and special, I think. So we did do some DIY projects as well, which I will have a video all about coming up on my channel. Okay, so here is the first item that I am bringing, and this is just a little chalkboard sign, and I am almost positive that I picked this up from the Target Dollar Spot a while ago. This chalkboard sign has been reused, and that is what I love so much about chalkboard signs. So whenever I see a good deal on a chalkboard sign, um, I always try to pick one or two up, just because I know that I will get use out of them in the future for different parties or events. And so here is this one, and as you can see, it has her full name on it. And while I think that all of the guests that will be attending the sprinkle shower this weekend know the baby's name, I figured having it out there, the full name, first, middle, and last, was just a really nice way to kick off the sprinkle shower. And so here is my first item that I will be bringing. And sticking with that chalkboard theme, here is the next items that I will be bringing and I picked these up from Party City and they are just little centerpiece chalkboard items that you can include in any type of centerpiece really or any little um, floral arrangement. Again, I just am really excited to be able to reuse these for future events down the road. So these I found at Hobby Lobby. I think another one came with it but I only have five tables at the sprinkle shower so only needed to label five of them. Next up is this wooden A, and this is a decor piece that really ties in to the whole theme of the party, and it's also something that I've shown and mentioned in a couple other videos. Um, this I purchased from Michaels. I originally purchased one for Aiden as part of his um, ring boy, best man type of gift for our wedding day, and then I was able to find that Michaels still carries these, and I purchased one for Annabelle. And so as soon as the sprinkle shower is over, both of the kids' A's will be hung up in their room, which I'm really excited to add as like a finishing touch to their room up there. But I really love the look and feel of this letter that I purchased from Michaels. Um, it's super rustic with the multi-colored wood grains. I think it is really, really cute and just a really nice way to, again, tie in Annabelle's name. Just make this party all about her. All right, so here's the next item that I will be bringing along with me. And this is something that you may remember seeing in my house. This usually is part of our dining room home decor. And normally I have a picture of Matt and I right in here. I do use this as like a little photo frame, a unique type of photo frame. But for this event, I put an ultrasound picture of Annabelle in there, and then I just have her little nickname that we will be calling her, which is Bella. So yeah, I just thought that this was a really cute and fun way to, again, incorporate her name and what we will be calling her most of the time. Okay, and then here is the next piece, and this is another item that is normally used as home decor, but with the color of the floral up here, and then the mason jar, which we will be using a lot of mason jars throughout that day. I just thought that this little arrangement tied together with the sprinkle shower really nicely. These 
little like champagne gold branches were purchased from Joanne Fabrics and this is something that we used as part of our wedding centerpieces and so these in particular are very special to us because they were part of our wedding day and it's really nice to be able to use this as part of another big event for our daughter's sprinkle shower. I think that having little floral arrangements throughout um, an event, whether it be big or small, just really adds a nice pop of decor and really ties everything together, makes it look like you spent a little bit more time planning things. And I think that pieces like this just add some really cute and fun decor to an event. All right, and then we have another set of faux floral. These are little faux mums, and I found these at Michael's at the beginning of the spring season this year. They were bunched up and tied like this, which I thought was really cute. And then I have them sitting in this little vase, this little glass vase that came with this piece of lace wrapped around it. And this vase I purchased from Michael's as well. And then I have some sparkly, beads in there just to give it a little added touch and again something like this it's very small and simple but I think it will look super cute and girly in whatever area we put it in again these are just really easy ways to kind of spruce up um, an event and then here is yet another floral arrangement this one is very special as well this one I actually made for our engagement party and I was able to use it at the engagement party the bridal shower I believe I had this at the wedding as well and now this will have another meaning behind it and then during the summer months this is part of our home decor as well so this little bird cage I found on clearance at Michael's um, I want to say about two years ago because it was before the engagement party and then I have a little mason jar sitting right in there which is holding all of the faux flowers in place. All of the faux flowers I purchased from Michaels. I usually get all of my faux floral from Michaels and so I have a collection of like coral roses, some tulips in here, and then some baby's breath kind of throughout the arrangement as well. And I'm not sure if I mentioned but the color scheme that I'm going for for the sprinkle shower is very similar to the wedding. I want to add um, a variety of pinks golds and whites and so the three floral arrangements that I just showed and talked about definitely fall within that color scheme which is really nice again this is not stuff that I am spending money on just for the shower but stuff that I'm able to reuse which makes me very very happy and it's definitely something that I encourage you guys to do just to save money and be able to get the most out of the items that you've already purchased all right, and then here is the last faux floral arrangement that I will be including that day. And again, this is something from our wedding times. The bouquet is the bouquet that I threw at the wedding. My sister caught it, and she wanted me to keep it um, at my house, and I had no problem doing so. And so this always gets put out during the summer months as well. And then these are just sitting in a really sparkly um, little plastic champagne glass that I purchased from Etsy in a set of 10 I believe. And I gave those to my bridal party during the bridal shower and it's wonderful because the flowers and the gold glittery vase down here matches perfectly with the color scheme as well. Moving right along I have this metal little tricycle that will be used to hold one of the floral arrangements that I just mentioned. Um, I think that this is really cute because it kind of ties in with the whole like baby or child theme, um, it being a little tricycle, and I think that'll give whatever floral arrangement that I stick in here just a little added touch. Number two has a permanent spot during the summer season in our house. This is you purchased this about a year ago from Michaels. All right, next up is this little bird cage, and this one is very similar to the one that I showed that had all of the faux coral flowers coming out of it. Um, I think it's actually the same one. I did get this one from Michaels 
um, more recently than that first one that I showed. I think that these are great to have for wedding showers and baby showers especially. Um, they can be used to hold floral. But what I was going to originally do with this, which I am no longer going to do, um, was I was going to hold the diaper raffle tickets right in here. It's nice and easy for people to just slip their diaper raffle submissions right in there or it could be used for other games such as estimation jars but we did find a different alternative for the estimation jar that we will be including at the sprinkle shower as well as the diaper raffle would all right and next up i have this rustic little banner and this is another thing that is usually out in our house this is normally up in our office and it is something that I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot, I think last spring, but I thought that this would be really cute to use for the baby shower, just because of the colors. They're nice and like dulled out colors, nothing too bright. Um, they do have those really pretty pops of pink in here, as well as the like neutral brown. And even though it does have some blue, in it as well. Um, I just think that the colors are very, very like babyish and soft and cute. So if you don't have one of these um, laying around or you're not able to find something like this in a store, I think that these would be really easy to make. The string is just um, hemp and just finding little pieces of fabric and cutting them into triangles I think would be a very cute touch for a birthday, a shower, uh, for like weddings or baby showers anything really an anniversary party. If you are able to find the theme colors in a fabric like this, I think that this would be super easy to make and would be a very, very cute touch to any type of celebration. Here is the next item or decor that will be included. Beautiful gold marquee sign that I purchased from Michaels. This is another item that you guys probably recognize as part of our home decor. This is usually in our dining room, but I thought that this would be really cute to use at the shower just because of the color and it will be such a big part of that entire day. So I figured that this would be a really nice, bold thing to see when our guests arrive at the sprinkle shower showing you guys how I have everything set up at the sprinkle shower and how it's all being used and see not only what I am bringing right now but you'll see how it is put into place and how it all comes together the day of the sprinkle shower. And here are my next two items and they are just really tiny little white doilies. Usually these can be found in our family room, um, but I wanted to bring these with us to the shower. These are very, very simple to use and decorate with, but I think that they add a really, really cute and cozy, girly type of vibe. And so not too sure yet as to where I will place these, but I know that it will be super easy to find somewhere to put these and I think that these will add a very very cute touch. So here is the next item that I want to share with you guys and this is a little DIY project that my sister actually made which I think is so cute. She found this idea online somewhere I believe but as you can probably tell it is just a container for wipes so it's definitely got that like baby theme going on and we just totally decorated this with so many sparkles and glitter. Um, the scheme that I was going for, she's got this really beautiful gold glitter and then she has this pink glitter as it looks like when it is open. It is so cute. I love this. It's so girly and pretty and it's just a very fun and unique way to collect diaper raffle submissions. And I will be uploading a DIY video on how we put all of this stuff together and this submission box is included in that video and so if you would like to see my sister just kind of assemble this and make, make this very unique piece, stay tuned for that video. I am just so obsessed with this. I think it is absolutely adorable. We have one more little um, submission box and this one is like complete opposite of the one that I just showed as far as the colors. The main color as you can see is pink with some gold accents right here and this is for the estimation guesses. Uh, my sister put together a little estimation jar and that is one of the games that we will be playing at the shower as well and so this is for everyone to stick in those submissions. 
This is one more chalkboard sign that I will be using and bringing to the sprinkle shower. This sign though is a little bit different because it was pre-made. This I found and purchased from Party City and they do have a boy version as well. But I thought that it was super cute and so if you are not as comfortable using like chalkboards or chalkboard markers, this is a great alternative. As you can see up here, it comes with a very pink bright bow to hang it with. This is an item that I purchased specifically for this party or celebration. Next up, here are the tablecloths that I will be using that afternoon. And so as you can see, I purchased a light pink version as well as a white version. I believe I found these pink ones, these light pink ones at Party City and I found these white ones at the dollar store. And so these pink ones were, I wanna say like $2.25 or something while the white ones were only a dollar, which was a great deal. I don't reuse these or anything. They get thrown away at the end. Um, and so if you can find what you're looking for, the color that you're looking for at the dollar store, I definitely suggest going that route. But here are the table runners that I will be using on the tables as well. I think I'm going to only use these table runners um, along with the pink tablecloths. I will leave the white tablecloths um, plain and simple. But these table runners I found and purchased from Amazon.com a while ago. They are relatively inexpensive and I think that they're pretty good quality. And I know they have a lot of different colors on Amazon. So if anyone is interested in the link or the seller that I purchased these from, just let me know in the comment section. My friend just had her baby shower a couple months ago and she bought blue ones of these. And these just add a very beautiful, glamorous touch to any table setting, I think. Next up, I have this really beautiful pink iridescent tablecloth that I originally purchased for our engagement party. Um, so this will be the second use that I will be getting out of this tablecloth. I do have another one and so I will be bringing both. Um, this one will be used as the tablecloth for the gift table and then the other one will be being used as the tablecloth for the sweet treats table. So these I found at Party City. I think that they're so pretty. I love the iridescent touch to them. I don't know if I will be able to get much more use out of these past the sprinkle shower. We'll have to see how they hold up. But I am very happy to be able to use this a second time for the shower. All right, and then here is the last tablecloth that will be included on the day of the shower. And this one will be for Matt, Aiden, and I's table. And this is one that I purchased from someone that was selling it on Facebook, just on one of those Facebook sellers pages. Um, it was somebody that used it for her wedding. And as soon as I saw that Facebook post, I knew I had to have it at our wedding. And so um, I purchased it from her. I am always so happy when I get to bring this out and use this. Next, I have this beautiful glittery um, laminated book. And this is going to be a book for Anna. Um, I want to bring this to the shower and have our guests write just a little message to her just so she sees how many guests showed up to shower her with new baby clothes and supplies and all of that fun stuff. And I will also have my sister write down all of the gifts that were received um, and I will keep all of that in here. That list of course will be used for sending out thank you cards. But again, that is something that Anna will be able to look back on and see all of the wonderful gifts that she received that day. Um, and then I will also be bringing this to the hospital with us just for all of our hospital visitors to write a special message to her on the day of her birth or around the day of her birth whenever people choose to come and visit. So this little blank notebook I purchased from Target I want to say about a year ago and I think that this is something that um, Annabelle will just be able to treasure and even though there will be lots and lots of pages left blank after the shower and after her birth I would love to be able to just write some notes to her or Aiden could write some stuff to her or her dad anyone really that wants to leave her a special note throughout her life can do that right in here. And then on some special birthday, I will be able to give this to her and she will be able to keep it and read through it. So I think that this is going to be a really fun way to kind of express all of our love for Anna before she's even here. All right, here's the next item, and this is my Bose speaker. I always make sure to have some music playing softly in the background 
at parties or events like this and I try to pick music that goes with the theme of the event. So for Aiden's birthday, for example, we played like sports type of music because he had a baseball themed birthday party. For our engagement party, I wanted it to be very like vintage feeling and so I played um, a Frank Sinatra playlist there and then with this one it being a little bit more rustic um, I will just have some country music playing in the background but I always love using speakers and I definitely always suggest them to people that are planning events or parties so this will definitely be joining us for the sprinkle shower. All right so here you can see these adorable tiny little place card holders these are so cute, I think. They are little pink ballerina type place card holders. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be using these because I did find those chalkboard number signs that I will be using in the centerpiece to label the number of each table um, after I purchase these. So I will be returning these, but I think that they're so cute. I might hold on to just one of them to place in her room. Here you can kind of see a closer up version. Uh, these I found at Party City. And while I would love to use these, these are just something that I know that I won't get much more use out of beyond the party. Here are the next two items of decor pieces that I will be including in the shower. These I'm sure you guys know are part of our home decor as well. I think that these will just add a really nice pop of greenery to the room and the space. I'm just going to use these as like a layer effect and place these behind some things. Um, again, you will see how I use it all in that video that I mentioned that will be up on my channel after this one. Um, but I do have a small one and then I have a larger one. Both of them were purchased from Target. And I have very high hopes for these that they will just really tie the room together. And just like those box wood wreaths from Target, um, the space, a little like layering effect, use this as like a backdrop for something. Um, this is a tobacco basket that I purchased from Hobby Lobby not too long ago but I did not purchase this solely for the shower. It normally sits out as decor. I'll also be bringing six of these larger mason jars. They are 32 ounces. And as you can see, I have already tied some hemp around the lids of the larger ones. These lar larger ones will be used as the bases for our centerpieces for the tables. Um, and I am going to be sticking in the little chalkboard numbered table signs in here, as well as some fresh sunflowers, which I am so excited about. I am so happy that sunflowers are now back in season. Perfect timing for the sprinkle shower. This vision of a very bright, colorful room that is filled with pinks and golds and whites with that beautiful pop of yellow from the sunflowers. So we will have to see how it all ties together and see if my vision for this day comes out exactly as planned, but I have high hopes for how this all will come together and I'm really, really excited for those sunflowers to be placed in here planning on the birth of Annabelle and taking photos of her as a newborn. I want to place her outside and just place a ton of sunflowers around her, um, incorporate that sunflower theme as much as I can for her as a baby. And so I'm really, really happy and excited. I will definitely be sharing the newborn photo shoot process and all of the items that I will be bringing for that with you guys once that time comes. But, and then I believe that this is the last item that I have to share with you guys for this video. And this is something that I used at the wedding and the bridal shower. And it's just like a frame, a wooden frame with these little strings of hemp right in the middle. This can be used in a variety of ways as well. Um, this can be used for pictures or for seating charts. Um, I found this at Michael's and I thought that I would have this out as decor, but I have not yet used it as decor. Maybe one day I will bring it out. And so while this hasn't gotten a lot of use as home decor in our home, um, it has gotten several uses for different events. And so I really like this. And I've actually been debating on 
whether I wanted to use this as a seating chart or if I wanted to use this to display um, Bella's little ultrasound pictures. But you guys will see how I chose to use it in the sprinkle shower setup video. And then I almost forgot to mention this, but these are just like six foot, I think, long tables. We have three of them and I will be bringing all three. These are great to have. They're easy to store and they can be used for so many different parties. We are always bringing these out and they are just really nice, sturdy tables to have. And so I definitely suggest purchasing a couple of these if you do not have them and if you are regularly having people over or hosting different events. This one I think was found at Kmart and then the other two that we have I believe were purchased from Target. And then we are also bringing this chalkboard easel as well. This usually stays in the office and is used as a teaching aid when doing schoolwork with Aiden, but I thought that this would be a perfect large like welcome sign for the shower. So that about does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope you will join me back for the other videos pertaining to the sprinkle shower. Like I said, I will have a DIY sprinkle shower video coming up very shortly. And in that video, I will go over the games that we will be playing, the decor that we kind of put together, as well as the gifts that we will be giving out to our game winners. And then soon after that one, I will have the overall setup and how everything came together for the sprinkle shower. And then I will also be doing one more video for the gifts that we received at the sprinkle shower. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions about this video, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.